The Knicks are a team rumored to be involved, interested in Anthony Davis. Would you then be worried about sending a package that included the number one, potentially number one overall pick, which could be Zion Williamson, for Anthony Davis? Absolutely not, and I'll tell you why. If Zion uh, um, reaches that potential, right, if he doesn't outkick his coverage, simply reaches the player that we believe he can be, what's a high-end version of that? A better version of Charles Barkley. Is that better than Anthony Davis is today? Anthony Davis might already be the greatest power forward who ever – let me not say greatest. He hasn't won championships like Tim Duncan. But when I think of the best power forwards I've ever seen, and that includes Carl Malone, and that includes Charles Barkley, and that includes Dirk Nowitzki, and that includes Kevin Garnett, and that includes everyone, the two that jump to my mind, maybe recency bias, I don't think so, are Tim Duncan and Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis has to still prove his greatness. Let's see if he can be part of a championship team. Let's see if he can be the best or even second best player on a team like that. Let's see how his career pans out. But in terms of peak performance, eyeballs on him, what he's doing, both ends of the floor, just about as good as, as it has ever gotten. So even if Zion fulfills the potential for him to ever be better than Anthony Davis is right now, he'd have to be maybe even better than we can think he would be, uh, can be. I would say, yep, if you got to include Zion in the deal, for Anthony Davis, you got to do it. I would be hesitant. And here's why I would be hesitant. Because Anthony Davis is already universally recognized as one of the top three players on the planet Earth. And what has that done for the Pelicans? Pretty close to nothing. He's got two playoff appearances on his resume in his eight-year career. Um, they've been past the first round once. You can lose with Anthony Davis. Legitimate. That's the reality of the situation. If you're the New York Knicks, that's my problem. It's not about the fact that Zion Williamson, even on his best day, can hope to measure up to Anthony Davis. And Anthony Davis is only 25, and I'm not questioning that by any stretch of the imagination. What I'm saying is if you're the New York Knicks, with or without Anthony Davis, you're going to lose any damn way. I I'd rather know, lose a. with somebody that's younger. By the way, devoid of the level of pressure, because when Zion Williamson comes into the NBA, the expectation for him are not going to be as great as if Anthony Davis arrived in New York with those Stephen expectations. A, so what do I have to gain? Anthony Stephen Davis a, is better, but we're going to still lose. Stephen A, question. Let's say they make a deal for Anthony Davis and Porzingis comes back healthy and continues his career trajectory, which is he's still scarily getting better. Do you think New York then mm -hmm. becomes a likely destination for someone like, I don't know, Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving? Yeah, but how and if you get, the case is that that happens, do they right, ever hold lose? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, there's a smile on my face, and there should be a smile on yours, Max. I refuse to answer that question from you. Why, Max? Because you can't say that, but in the same breath says, James Dolan is like a damn virus. He'll contaminate everything. I don't say That's that in the what same breath. So Those you are two separate breaths. That, we'll get right, to ask me that question, there. but you can't. I also don't know how you do a deal for Anthony Davis without including Porzingis. You got you to make a package exactly. work for the Porzingis and Zion Williamson? 